thanks for stopping by my channel. Today's video is another Timu Finds video. I just got a few things from Timu through my affiliate slash influencer program that I'm a part of and I got a little bit of credits from my last Timu video so I got a few more things to share with you. Mostly kind of desk items, office supply items and this is probably the main thing I wanted to show you guys that I thought you guys would be interested in. I did post this up on my community tab probably a few weeks ago and a few of you guys did mention that you would like to check this out with me. So we're going to check this out, but I just wanted to show you really quick other few things that I did get in this order and let you know the prices. So I just got a artist glove and this was really inexpensive. It was about 70 cents. So really cheap. I have, I do have one of these somewhere, but I lost it of course. Um, I really kind of just got this one because it was so cheap and I had the, you know, I had the credits for it and this one actually fits me better than the one that I had previously gotten from Amazon. It's the one I got from Amazon was too big. I think these do come in sizes, so I probably need a small size because I have small, very small hands. So happy with this one. This one fits nicely. And then I got an eraser, like the manual eraser. And you can click like a pen. So that's pretty cool. I think this was probably about two dollars, a dollar forty-nine, something like that. Of course, I'll put the I'll put the prices up like I usually do. And then I just picked up another eraser. This is a kneaded eraser. I actually also have some of these somewhere around. But I said, let me pick up a new one because these are often good if you want to use it to lift color. Like maybe you want to get like a faded effect and you feel like you maybe put a little too many layers down. And I think this was $2 as well. This is a Faber, a Faber Castell eraser. And I know I've, I've seen a lots of Faber Castell products on Timu and even like AliExpress, places like that. And I know there's a kind of like a concern that maybe it's their fakes, but I did look into it and Faber Castell actually has um, a factory in China. So they do produce stationary items and writing implements, stuff like that. So I don't want to take it all the way out because I don't want to get it dirty and grubby. So I'm going to keep it in the plastic, but just a needed eraser in yellow. They had a few different colors. I think they had blue, um, green maybe. So just a little bit different. A little pizzazz to your desk, I guess. If you want to get one that's in a color, I don't think it um, performs any differently if it's a color, just for aesthetics, I guess. And then I also picked up this paper cutter. This one is an A4 size and I have one in black. And again, I, I am always losing it. And I was like, oh, let me get one of these just so another one, just so when one is lost, I, maybe I could find the other one. Sometimes I'll have to cut papers down to fit into my printer. So that's kind of a main use that I use that for. And then check it out. I did get a new desk mat. Let me know how you like this one. Do you like the other one? I usually have better, the outer space one. I do like to change my background every once in a while. I feel like I've had that outer space one for a while. So I thought this one was pretty with the flowers. I think the measurements were 35, 35 by something, but it's big enough to fit within my filming frame here. You can kind of see the whole pattern. I don't know if I'm going to keep it as my main background, but I do think it's pretty just because when filming, you know, I do a lot of cuts, so I might be 
It might be a little bit too busy, but we'll see. I like it. Might just keep it on my non-filming desk. Okay, so here's the main attraction, what we came to see. This is a pencil sharpener shaped like a old-fashioned camera. I did get a few, quite a few recommendations on this sharpener, and I had found it on Amazon, and I had it in my safe for later for quite a while. The cheapest I had found it on Amazon was $14.99. When I was checking out Timu for some things to review with you guys, I came across this. I was like, oh, cool, that's the camera sharpener. So this is made by Deli. It says Eternal Memories. I have seen it say, I think, Sweet Memories instead of Eternal Memories, but... I think it's the same thing. Probably the same thing. It looks the same. Um, I'm not a super expert on pencil sharpeners. I'm not really that deep into pencil sharpeners. I, I will see a lot of people talking about pencil sharpeners like extensively. I'm not one of those people that are like heavily into pencil sharpeners. I'm basically, oh, does it sharpen my pencil? Cool. Let's move on <laughs> to the coloring. But I do think this is really cute. And I thought we would see how it works out. It's a manual sharpener. And does it even have any directions? I think it's in Chinese. So I guess not. Yeah, it does have directions, but they're in Chinese. So I can't use my Google Translate because I'm recording with my phone, but oh, see, it pulls out. The top part looks like it pulls out, so let me get a pencil that I have around. What is this pencil? Light. Oh, this is a Calor pencil. Let's see. Oh, this. You gotta press this button. It's like a little shutter button. Oh, that's cute. To be able to stick the pencil in there, and then it tightens it around there and it looks like is this adjustable no just it works it's nice it's not bad um, seems pretty much like the old school kind of sharpeners that are in the front of the classroom when you used to have to get up and sharpen your pencil, <laughs> get up from the desk, go hang out at the pencil sharpener. It is cute. Let me get some other types of pencils and see if they all will work. Let me look for my square fruit spinners. I got my square brute spooners. Let's see if they, this will fit in there. Then we'll, then we'll be like the real test. Cause I know a lot of you guys are always looking for sharpeners that work with the square pencils. I don't, I guess this is, can we push it back in? Oh. oh, watch your fingers, that's for sure. <laughs> Good thing I didn't have my finger in there. So let's check out and see if the square ones, I think it will because this little button seems like it hugs the pencil. unsure how many times to turn it but so it works with the square pencils um, I personally prefer an automatic electric sharpener to this because um, like I like it I do like an automatic stop pencil sharpener just because it's easier more convenient for me personally but if you prefer these types of pencil sharpeners 
or if you have like a softer pencil, probably this might be good for a Prismacolor. Let's get a Prismacolor. Do I have any Prismas out here? I guess I should have come prepared for this video. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm never prepared, but I do have my Prismas over here. I'm gonna try a small one. Oh, let's see if they we can get a, a smaller one in here. I do often hear people say that you really shouldn't put Prismas in like electric sharpeners because they can break easy. But I don't listen, and I always put them in an electric sharpener. pull it out for such a small pencil. It does almost go all the way inside there. Let's see if it works. If I push it in, it works. Oh, it pops out. Yeah, it works for short ones. You just gotta probably not super short. Like this is probably pushing it as far as you can go because I did have to hold it in. So I did forget this part when I was filming, so I'm just popping it in here just to show you guys where um, the pencil shavings get accumulated into the little cup on the bottom. But it does work for the shorter pencils and the square pencils. And if you guys have this, let me know how you like it. I think it's really cute just because it looks like a camera. That's the main selling point for me, but um, I have heard really good things about it. A lot of people do like this pencil sharpener. Um, when I first started coloring a few years ago, I do remember it kind of was making the rounds. So if you wanna try it, it's only $11 on Timu. That's a good price. I have heard of it being pretty expensive other places. So definitely check it out. It's cute, it's small. Um, you could probably carry it around in your coloring bag, leave it on your desk. So that's all I have for you guys today. Just a quick one. And if you are new to Timu, you can use my new user code. I know most of us have been shopping on Timu for the past year or so, not too many new users. But if you are, you could use my new user code and get, I think it's 30% off your first purchase at the moment. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will have all the links to purchase all of the items I showed you today. And I hope you guys all have a really great rest of your day. Happy coloring, and I'll see you next time.